What's going on everybody? I'm Josh with Valley Nissan and today I'm testing the 2021 Nissan Armada. it was. I mean, it's not Godzilla or anything, but when you've been testing small and mid-sized SUVs, it really is a step up. The Nissan Armada may be a large vehicle, but that is because it is a full-size SUV, much like the Ford Expedition or Chevy Tahoe. In fact, the Armada's large size means that it comes with some distinct advantages to other brands with only mid-size SUVs. It's true. The towing capacity on this thing is 8,500 pounds. Now, compare that with like the Honda Pilot at 5,000 pounds, the Armada is heads and tails above. Another amazing aspect about its enormity is the second row seating. I know I make a lot of airline comparisons, but when I can sit in a vehicle like this and feel like a king, but a $900 million aircraft has my toes pinned up against my ears, I just, I'm sorry, I'm a little bitter. The seats are really nice though. The whole interior appeals to an upper class sentimentality. This platinum trim level is lined with plush leather, faux marble, pre-installed entertainment systems, and a huge storage compartment in the first and second rows. Here's a luxury feature you rarely see, power third row seats. With a touch of a button, I can raise them or lower them. And that's not all either. If I'm sitting in the back, I can press this button right here and adjust the seats. That's right, power seats all around, baby. Woo woo! One thing I don't understand is what happened to the storage space. With the third row up, I can barely fit my bag in Ray Blama's box, let alone anything substantial. So you might just be one of those families that on your way to the airport have all their luggage bungee corded to the trunk. With the seats up, the storage space is around 16.9 cubic feet. But if you're not carrying seven people, lower the third row and you open up to around 49.9 cubic feet. Quite a monumental difference. Since I've made such a big deal about the size of the Armada, you're probably wondering how it drives. And it really depends on what you're used to. If you drive a Geo Metro everywhere, then it's gonna feel like an ocean liner. However, if you drive a Kia Telluride, Ford Explorer, or even a Jeep Grand Cherokee, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. The seats prop you up high enough so the vehicle doesn't feel cumbersome. While putting together this video, I really thought about Nissan's target audience. And then it hit me. This thing is a tank. When you drive it, you feel that you are protected by a bunker of steel in all directions. My assessments weren't far off. The Armada has a five-star safety rating from the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration. Try saying that five times fast. Plus, it has all the active safety systems which are combined into Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist. The Armada is one of the few SUVs that come standard with automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, rear automatic braking, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot warning, lane departure warning, and high beam assist. Here's a cool safety feature, the intelligent rear view mirror. As you can see, Rave Llama is blocking my view, but simply flip this switch and my rear view camera becomes my rear view mirror. Not bad, Nissan, not bad. Along with safety systems for daily driving, the Armada incorporates multiple options for trailering. For example, braking controls with adjustable resistance, auto-dimming side view mirrors for better visibility, and trailer sway control. Now that you know how much this thing can tow, you probably want to know the engine size, fuel economy, and price. Well, the engine size is a 5.6 liter V8 with 400 horsepower and 413 foot-pounds of torque. That'll give you around 15 miles to the gallon. Not unusual for this size of an engine. 
Next, the price of the vehicle, well, specifically this one, the Armada Platinum with second row captain's chairs and everything you can get on it, you're looking at $71,430. That may sound pricey, but remember, I am driving the top of the line with everything you can get to include heated seats in the second row. Starting price for the Nissan Armada is 53,000, which is comparable to a new Chevy Tahoe. So why should you consider an Armada? Well, it has all the best characteristics of an SUV. It can tow anything, fit your entire family, it's comfortable and plush, comes in four wheel drive, and has 9.2 inches of ground clearance. I forgot to mention that earlier, 9.2. That's unheard of outside monster trucks. I mean, if I ever own my own country, I'm going to have a fleet of Armadas. No pun intended. Thank you for watching this 2021 Nissan Armada walk around video. Please like, share, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Also check out Valley Nissan at valleynissan.com for the best car buying experience in Northern Colorado. Special thanks to the source for music utilized in this video.